Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 Guide to Assistance video with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm on Felsbrunn and we're going to do a yield test. Um, I did in a video on improving yields, but I didn't actually go into specifics on. I said how you could improve your yields and the things that would reduce your yields, but I didn't go into specifics on the actual yields themselves and what you got for each of those different things. So that's what I'm going to cover in this episode. I'm on field 19, which is next to kind of the start farm, if that's what you want to call it. Um, and at the moment, this field has got corn in. It's ready to harvest. It has not been fertilised at all. It does need ploughing. Um, there's nothing has come up about lime yet. I've turned weeds off. So basically it's got nothing. It's just as is. There's no additional things to it. There's no lime, there's no fertilizer, nothing being added to improve the yield. But there's also, um, apart from the plowing aspect, there's no negatives. There's no weeds in there or anything. So I'm gonna take this as my kind of baseline. Then I'll plow the field and we'll do it again um, and see if plowing the field gives you an improved yield. Uh, then we'll look at one fertilizer state what we get two fertilizer states what we get um, and then we'll look at the negatives we'll do the field again and we'll see what happens um, it will we'll have all the states done on it and then we'll see what a detrimental effect the um, the weeds have so it will be a kind of it'll be interesting to see I don't know if there's going to be much difference between the yields but we'll see how we get on I have got the uh, John Deere S790 for this task with the larger header I've also got a John Deere I think it's a 6 was it a seven I went for? Uh, six two thirty with an agro line trailer on the back to collect, and I've got a grain silo to put them in. I, I don't think I'm going to get that much, but we'll see. Um, so what we'll do is set the harvester off, and we'll see what we get at the end. So I will see you momentarily, and we'll see what the yield is of this field. Absolutely bare. Then I'll plough the field. I'll replant. We'll go again and see what difference the plower makes and so on and so forth. Um, I will explain after each stage what's been done and what the yield is and we'll see what the comparisons are. Uh, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, test one complete. We've got 19,779 litres of corn. That's the benchmark. Um, what I'm going to do now is plough the field, seed it again, go again, and then we'll see if the uh, ploughing increases the yield, and so on and so forth. I'll see you in a bit, probably when the next harvest is done. There might be a small time lapse of a bit of ploughing or something like that. We'll see how we go. Um, I'm very conscious of the, the episode going on too long, but then also don't want to just be a kind of jerky yield, 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 there's the results, you know. We'll see. Anyway. Uh, see you in a minute. Okay, second harvest complete. The second harvest I ploughed. Now in the old game ploughing would give you a 10% bonus. According to this page here, you've got the positives, you've got the negatives, and this is where it gets a bit weird. It says to avoid a 35% yield malice, you must remove weeds. We haven't got weeds on at the moment. Plow after corn, potato, sugar beet, and sugar cane. Otherwise, you take a 15% hit. Now, the weird thing was, when I started off on that first crop, it didn't say the field needed plowing. Afterwards, it did. So, I plowed it. Now, that should mean that I don't take a deficit. My yield is 21,976, which has given me a 10%, maybe even 15% bonus. So I've gained crop by ploughing. According to that other page, it says, you'll take a deficit if you don't, but it's given me a bonus, it's given me more. So is it worth ploughing? Yes, I have gained crop. Which is a bizarre one. Like I say, that page is a bit confusing, that help page, with the positives and negatives. And, you know, the assumption is you take a loss, but I haven't. I've actually gained. So what the field is asking for now 
it says it needs ploughing because it was a corn crop it needs ploughing after every time you do corn it also says it needs lime so i'm not i'm not going to fertilize what i'm going to do i'm going to plough i'm going to lime and according to that page lime says it gives you a 15 percent bonus so we should technically get what we got this time 21,900 and something plus another 15 percent on top because we're doing lime that's the theory so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to plow i'm going to lime seed we'll get back round again i'll harvest and we'll see have we gained again from doing the lime so okay this harvest is done this harvest we had same field corn we ploughed it we limed it so we should see an increase but this is the complicated thing why when a lot of people ask me to do a yield test to show an experiment it gets complicated because you think straight away by looking in this menu that spreading lime every three harvests gets, gets you 15 percent extra the thing is when i did the first harvest on this field and then the second harvest i'm assuming lime had already been put on this because if i now go into my tractor i got 21,955 off that For the last harvest i got 21,976 so negligible i would imagine had i not limed then I would have lost 15%. And this is where it's complicated. You've got the positives and the negatives. It says it gained you a bonus, but if I hadn't have limed, technically on the previous harvest, it would have been a negative. I would have lost 15%. So I'm going to carry on regardless. That last one had been ploughed, had been limed. The lime will last for three harvests. So I've started ploughing this one again. So this next one will have ploughed, lime, and we're going to do one fertilising state. I've got the Rubicon over at the store, I'm going to bring that over. So it'll be ploughed, limed, one fertilising state. That fertilising state should add, um, where does it say, 25% each fertilising state. So we should see, on the next harvest, a 25% increase in yield by having the next fertilising state. That's the theory. Right, I'll see you then the next harvest. Okay, so this test then, the field was limed, that was still carried over from the last time I limed, ploughed and fertilised once, giving us 50% fertilisation. That should give us, if we go into this menu, each fertilising state should give you 25%. Okay, so if we were getting about 20,000, we actually got 21,955. 25% extra should give me about 5,500 more. So I should be looking at a yield off of this field this time of about 27,500. There's going to be a little bit of give here and there. So what do we end up with? 25,588. That puts us about an increase of about 3,000, 3,500 not quite the five and a half thousand you'd expect to see but the the maths are always a little bit hinky you always get a little bit of artistic license i think is the best way of putting it but we have seen an increase so one fertilizing state we've seen an increase so this next one will be lime carried over plowed fertilized twice during its cycle so we should see up to i reckon based on that 28 29000 liters maybe we'll see how we get on but like i say that's the next test so that'll be pretty much everything that'll be the maximum we can do it will be limed it will be plowed it will be fertilized twice there's nothing more we can do to it after that there'll be two more tests i'm going to do a test with maximum done but weeds so the weed should have a detrimental effect then i'm going to do a worst case scenario so hopefully if you're still with me if you're sticking with me 
We are seeing some yield improvements. It is working. Not as great as I thought I would see, but on much bigger fields, you're going to see much bigger yields. Obviously, that's how it's going to work. Um, so I will see you in a moment when we've got the maximum done and we should see a pretty good yield. And so our best case scenario with everything on, we have got ploughing done, lime done, two fertilising states done, um, and we've got 29,255 litres, which is an improvement on the last one. The extra fertilising state has improved our yield. Is it a 100% improvement on our initial harvest? It's not, but our initial harvest could have been skewed. Our initial harvest may well have had lime on it. So to find out for definite if we've had a 100% improvement is going to be to do a worst case scenario. The next one we're going to do will be everything, but then we're going to get weeds. The last one we're going to do will be worst case scenario. When we've done the worst case scenario, we can link it to our best case scenario and we'll be able to see how it has doing everything given us a 100% yield improvement. It may well do. It may not. We'll see. I'll see you in a minute. And so I begin setting up for the penultimate scenario. This scenario is pretty much the same as the previous one, where we do maximum yield, we get everything. With one small snag, we do everything right. We do the ploughing, we do the lime, we do the seeding, fertilising, everything, but we forget to do the weeds. We're off somewhere else across the map, off somewhere else. By the time we come back, they're established, our weed is broken, we've run out of herbicide, whatever it might be, and the weeds take hold. So it should be a maximum yield, but the weeds are going to knock us back a little bit. So we're going to see what we end up with, with just the weeds causing some issues. Well, as it stands at the moment, I couldn't be more confused. <laughs> I did my perfect crop, everything all right, everything good, and I've got 29,255 litres. This one, everything was okay, apart from weeds. I let the weeds grow. That's supposed to be, if I look on here, um, remove bad weeds, otherwise minus 20%. Well, I didn't touch the weeds, I left them. I just harvested them with the weeds in. And I just got 29,125 litres. So I'm only about 130 litres off my best. And that was with weeds in there. So I don't know. Make of that what you will. Um, it's confused. Me too. Um, the weeds should have made more of a difference than that. Next test will be the final one. And that's going to be the everything that, that is wrong or off or... No fertiliser, um, no ploughing, no lime and weeds. So that would be worst case scenario. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of an odd result. Wasn't expecting that. Um, but there you go. Um, see you on the next one. So this is the start of the final test. This is the worst case scenario. Um, the field now says it's harvested, zero fertilised. It needs ploughing, it needs lime. I'm not going to do any of that. What I am going to do is cultivate, which I've started, because I need to cultivate so I can get the seeder to run, um, because it won't run over this, it's not a direct drill. But that won't affect any of that. So this field will now run, I'll put corn in it, and it will have nothing done to it, plus we're going to let weeds grow. So it's going to be absolute worst case scenario. If you don't do anything to your fields, how low is it going to be? Then we can compare that to our best case scenario, and see about the yield difference. I'll see you at the end. And here we have it, our worst case scenario, 17,457 litres. That's about 2,300 less than our very first harvest we did. And that's the one I thought probably still had the lime left over from previous harvest. So that lime has made a difference of about 10-15%, which is about what it said it would do. 
do we get 100% more by doing all the extra stuff? We don't. Because if that's worst case scenario, 17,400, doubling that, 100% more on top, would give me 34,000. And my very best yield off that field was 29. It's only a difference of about 4,000, 5,000 litres, but it's, it's off a little bit. No major dramas. What have we learned from it? Well, not ploughing, not putting lime down when it asks you to, makes a big difference. The fertilising states make a big difference. So when I did my initial um, improving yield video, I showed you all the ways to do it. This kind of backs it up and says, these are the facts. This is the evidence. Yes, it does make a difference. And as you can imagine, as you build it up and scale it up onto much, much larger fields, that's going to have a much bigger impact. Um, and that's about it. Um, I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.